presentation is to help you to clerk a patient with acute appendicitis, an important surgical condition accounting for up to 80,000 hospital admissions per year in the UK. Please pause the video now and complete these pre-test questions. The appendix is located on the posterior medial wall of the cecum. This screen gives an overview of the current presentation. Common clinical reasoning strategies presented in this box will be illustrated. Let's consider the differential diagnosis, which can be categorised into bowel-related pathology, renal tract pathology and gynaecological pathology, listed as follows. Bowel-related pathology, renal tract pathology and gynaecological pathology, the most dangerous of which is ectopic pregnancy, which should always be excluded. Also consider medical conditions which mimic appendicitis, including psoas abscess and possibly diabetic ketoacidosis. So how might a patient with acute appendicitis present to you? This may be in the typical way, a patient aged between 10 and 30, with a short 48 to 72 hour history of migratory abdominal pain associated with systemic features of illness, such as loss of appetite and general malaise. More diagnostically challenging are some unusual patient groups. The first of these is pregnant women. As the uterus expands in pregnancy, it displaces the appendix upwards and appendicitis can present with right upper quadrant pain. Consider appendicitis in any pregnant woman presenting with non-specific abdominal pain. Children are also difficult. They may present primarily with irritability and possibly diarrhoea. Consider non-surgical mimics such as gastro gastroenteritis or mesenteric adenitis. Elderly patients may present in a more insidious fashion with sepsis and being generally unwell. Always consider an underlying sequel malignancy. Appendicitis may present atypically when it has an unusual anatomical location. It usually hangs freely in the retrocecal fossa. Diagnostically important variants include uh, a pelvic appendix giving urinary symptoms or a retroileal appendix giving ureteric or testicular irritation. Next we move on to refinement of the diagnosis through the history, examination and initial investigations. For the history, the purpose is going to be to uh, elicit the patient's story and to further define the abdominal pain. Socrates is a use useful acronym in this regard. Uh, on systems review, do ask about gynaecological symptoms and screen for malignancy. Red flags may suggest an unusual underlying cause. The rest of the history is structured here. For examination, peripherally you need to decide if the patient is hemodynamically stable or not. On examination of the abdomen, firstly, does this patient have clinical signs consistent with appendicitis, such as pain at McBurney's point? Uh, and secondly, is there any evidence of perforation, such as rebound tenderness? Clinical eponyms are explained here. For initial investigations... Blood tests is listed here and urinalysis should be done. Imaging is discussed on the next slide. Findings from the history examination and initial investigations can be put into the Alvarado score to give you a likelihood of appendicitis in your particular patient. Now for defining the final diagnosis, which is often at the time of surgery in the case of appendicitis. So for unstable patients, it may be appropriate to do a CT and if necessary for theatre. For stable patients, in males with a diagnostically clear picture, they may proceed directly to diagnostic laparoscopy. In females, ultrasound scan is almost always warranted to exclude gynaecological pathology. For the junior on the ward, patients can be divided into three groups. Those for immediate surgery should be managed as follows and started on perioperative antibiotics. Those for inpatient watchful waiting need regular review an abdominal examination, and those for discharge need to be uh, given pain relief and adequate safety net advice. This completes the overview of a diagnostic approach to acute appendicitis. You may now wish to complete the post-test questions.